All right, what up everybody? Welcome to another video by the Asian Robot. Today, I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of guidance on what to buy every single day via the Hilt Trader, all right? Sorry, I just had to move my, move my disembodied body over here, over a little bit. Now, actually what I'm gonna do in this video is show you what is actually worth buying on the Hilt Trader. You might hear my Discord popping off a little bit. In fact, my girl's also with me on my Discord right now. She's Hi. listening to me record this video, but don't worry about that. Okay, so you have probably seen this Hilt Trader. If you don't know where he is, he is found in West March. You will find him at the top, literally the very top of the map right here. And you will probably notice that you can trade in the hilts that you get. Uh, hilts can be acquired through a variety of means, codex, whatever else, you know, there's a variety of ways to get them. But You're in the right when you when you get hilts, you can spend them on a variety of things. Now I've purchased a lot of the monthly and weekly stuff just to figure out what is the you know best stuff to purchase. But I can honestly tell you that what is worth spending your hilts on every day is number one, crests. Okay, please purchase your daily crests every time because legendary gems are going to be the biggest choke point in your growth as a free to play, even as a light pay to play. All right you're gonna need these crests so make sure you purchase your two daily crests get your free one from the uh uh thema bob all right from the elder rift all right you also have these limited time offers that refresh every 12 hours okay you can sometimes pick up a crest or a reforge stone or you know a lot of other stuff here if you see a crest i usually buy one here as well it is not worth spending your hilts on the uh, mystery legendary item because you're going to get about six per day, assuming you farm the usual three to four hours. If you don't play that much, you might want to invest in this, but I usually wouldn't. It's a waste of hilts and it's 1,600. Honestly, you won't be getting that many hilts as the game progresses. You might feel like you're getting a lot. And in fact, I did, but it was a serious waste. Carson's Invigoration is a legendary gem you can purchase once per month. It's an okay investment once per month, but only once per month. Beyond that, I would say no. It's not worth much of the investment. Um, normal gems. Okay, this one I've purchased for two weeks in a row. But what I can say is that it's generally not worth the investment unless you have a lot of extra hilts. Why? Because number one, your hilts are best used for crests. And number two, when it comes to the normal gems, um, it is actually a smarter idea to get them from number one, hidden layers, where you can get about six per day. Um, if you guys need a video discussing the soft caps, I plan on that one uh, later on. But you also can get another six from fighting with your friends uh i'm assuming you play with friends because diablo immortal needs to be done with friends or a clan at least if you're in a full party of four you can get up to another six normal gems that's 12 per day per day and you can only buy 10 per week so that's 2000 hilts down the drain each week for not a lot of value especially when you can like i said get it every day six per day from the hidden layers six per day from just playing in a party together of four um, so it's quite easy to get that. Aspirin's key. Okay, this one is a bit contentious. I like to buy four per day. Why not the full five? Okay, I'll explain why not the full five. It, 50 hilts might not seem like much if you, but it the 50 each day adds up. And the Aspirin's keys come in multiples of four anyway. If assuming you're doing your shadow assemblies and all the other events during the day, you'll get plenty of Aspirin's keys to open up the first uh, few chests in even fod's sanctum so um i usually purchase about four per day but if i have more than 50 keys i don't purchase again the reason is because sometimes you're going to get dark uh data says blessings for elder rifts stuff like that etc etc so on and so forth you're not actually going to need to spend heavily on these aspirin keys um so in summary in summary for this whole video uh i've even purchased these simple charms again not really worth it you get one per day um, but you can buy these if you really, really want to. They're they're weekly and they're only 100 hilts, so it's not that much of a, a drain. It's it's like the cost of an additional uh, crest. But honest to God, what is what is the must buy each time in the hilts trader is these crests. Please buy your crests, and if you're lucky, you can get up to four per day. Then a fifth one from your portal, so you can save up quite a few and then just spam them to get your legendary gems. This is how you really upgrade assuming you're free to play but that's going to cost you hilts and that will run you about 1200 per day all right so so that's why i am again cautioning you against wanton spending on other things if i have more than 50 keys i do not even spend on the aspirin's keys uh i do not buy the normal gems anymore and i certainly do not make any more weekly purchases the monthly purchase of the one legendary crest is worth it 
Uh, Carson's Invigoration, I leave that entirely up to you. It's worth only one gem point anyway, so if you're purchasing the crests, for which you can basically get uh, one full day's load for Carson's Invigoration, um, it might be more worth it to purchase the crests instead. Okay, so that is a summary of what you should buy at the Hills Trader and also a discussion of everything that is available there. If you like my video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much if you decide to do that. Um, you can also choose to support the channel with tips via the link in the description of the video. You can send super thanks on YouTube. You can join as a channel member, gaining access to various perks, or even uh, pop by the streams and send super chats. We are looking for more Diablo Immortal sponsors. If you decide you want to do that, or if you want to uh, game with us, let us know. Thank you guys very much. Uh, and let me move over to our thank you scene. Here is July's top supporters, uh, Bravo7910, Kazmanta, my lovely girl, Zavi Zumaki, The Mighty Zeno, DeathDawning982, Miss Eve, Oh, Mr. Cream Puff, Daniel Titty, Noisy, Matt Berdeo, Rogue Assassin, Anarchy Inc., Nate the Great, River Archer 124, CJ on Pluto, Wolfstar Heart, Jordan Shelton, Alfonsi Minerni, Jake Unra, Horitoshi, and Luminous Hill. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate all of your uh, beautiful faces, and I will see you guys on the next one. Okay. Oh, shit. Almost forgot the Throne of Honor. These are our top tier channel members as well. Destiny 982. Uh, Steven Martin, Jerry Fast, Joshua Mortz, The Forgotten, Nate the Great, Rogue Assassin, Omis, Screenpuff, Zach, NFG, and Matt Perdillo. Thank you guys so much, and now see you for real.